listen, Jake from State Farm. I'm going to go on record and say that is the luckiest actor in the history of commercial acting. Now, I've been an actor for 25 years in this town. I've auditioned for a million commercials. I've had Super Bowl commercials come out. I've been on campaigns for AT&T. I've done a lot of commercials. I've worked with the NBA on some commercials. I did stuff with Nowitzki and, and Tim Duncan and Devin Brown and Devin Harris. And uh, God, Juwan Howard, that was a great campaign. But this guy, Jake from State Farm. Now, I don't know what happened to the original Jake, but do you guys remember? Do you guys remember? There was a there was a white Jake from State Farm for years. The dude was the dude. Like, he was the State Farm guy. And white Jake from State Farm, one day, like after filming a Chris Paul commercial, was informed, it's all over for you, bud. <laughs> Sorry, we're replacing you. We're replacing you with a with a black Jake. And I love the, the actor they got for Jake now from State Farm. He's a fucking great actor. He's a great Jake from State Farm. So I just feel bad for the white Jake from State Farm. What happened to that dude? Is he like auditioning for a Buffalo Wild Wings commercial somewhere? I bet he is. And I bet he's dreaming of a callback like all of us actors. Meanwhile, the new Jake from State Farm is sitting courtside at the dunk contest. He's at the All-Star Games. He's a cultural icon. He's like Flo from Progressive. Could you imagine if they replaced Flo from Progressive with like an Asian Flo from Progressive? People would go fucking crazy. People love Flo from Progressive, dude. White Jake Farm, White Jake from State Farm, they're like, eh, he's expendable. That poor guy. He was probably making a million to 1.5 a year as the State Farm guy. And I bet that's what the new Jake is making. I bet he's making more. Because that dude, that dude could cut a record and probably go platinum. That guy's at major NBA events. He is the dude. That is the luckiest actor of all time. If someone can figure out his name and send it to me, I'm sure he's done other stuff back in the day. He's not really a State Farm employee. I hate to tell you this. He probably went to like Yale Drama School. He's a talented dude, but it's also a lucky guy, man. You know what I want to see with the State Farm commercials? I want to see like a State Farm multiverse. Like with like Doctor Strange and Spider-Man and shit. You remember that Spider-Man where like the three different Spider-Man actors showed up? Toby Maguire and uh, what's his fuck? I don't know any of these guys anymore. Tom something and the other guy, Garfield. They all showed up in like a weird scene and it was all these multiverses coming together and there were three different Spider-Men from the different movies looking at each other. We got to do that with Jake from State Farm. Bring me like an Asian Jake, a black Jake, the white Jake. I want like an Indian Jake. I want all the Jakes. I want a Jewish Jake. I want a trans non-binary Jake. I want a they Jake. I want all the Jakes together in one room. And they'll like figure out who's going to bundle home and auto better. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Think about it. Anyway, uh, Jake from State Farm, if you're... If you're listening or watching the podcast, we'd love to have you on anytime, my dude. Last man on the bench, Zach Selwyn, come hang with me.